Whether you're learning about the solar system or trying to choose a color scheme for your home, seeing is often understanding. Now, sometimes, though, the things that you're interested in, they're difficult to describe in a search box. So that's why we created Google Lens to help you search and do more with what you see by simply pointing your camera. Say you're at a restaurant trying to figure out what to order. Instead of going from the menu to different apps on the phone and back to the menu and so on, you can simply point your camera. Lens automatically highlights the popular dishes at this restaurant right on the menu. And of course, if you want to know more, you can tap on any dish on the menu, and you can see what it looks like, again, at the restaurant. By the way, when you're done eating, Lens can help pay for your meal. Not so fast. It's not picking up your tab. But it can calculate the tip and even split the total. But we're starting to think of other ways that we can connect helpful digital information with the things in the physical world. So I'm going to give you just one example. So you're flipping through a Bon Appetit magazine, and you see a recipe you like. Soon, you can point your camera at the recipe and see the page come alive, showing you how to make the dish. Around the world, there are more than 800 million adults who are struggling to read the words that they come across in their daily lives. Take this sign in English next to an ATM. Now, for someone who does not understand the language and cannot read the words, this is important information that they're not getting access to. So directly from the Google search bar, you can use Lens, open it, point it at the sign, to hear the text read out aloud to you. Information for card holders. All customers using old proprietary magnetic stripe cards should be advised. You can also translate it into your own language, like this. And again, you can hit listen and hear the words read out loud, this time in your own language. Información para los titulares de la tarjeta. Duplex was launched with restaurant reservations on the phone, but now we are moving beyond voice and extending duplex to tasks on the web. We again want to focus on narrow use cases to start. So we are looking at rental car bookings as well as movie ticketing. Say you get a calendar reminder about an upcoming trip and you want to book a rental car. You can just ask Google, book a national car rental for my next trip. The assistant opens the national website and automatically starts filling out your information <laughs> on your behalf. And once all the details are in, you can check everything one last time and just tap to finalize the reservation. You'll immediately get a booking confirmation. Now, internally, we've been calling this the next generation assistant. Running on device, it can process and understand requests in real time and deliver the answers up to 10 times faster. Now, Maggie's here, and she's going to help us test it out, starting with some back-to-back -back commands to demonstrate its speed. Hey, Google. Open calendar. Open calculator. Open photos. Set a timer for 10 minutes. What's the weather today? What about tomorrow? Show me John Legend on Twitter. Get a lift ride to my hotel. Turn the flashlight on. Turn it off. Take a selfie. Now, beyond an effortless way to operate your phone, you can start to imagine how the assistant fused into the device could orchestrate tasks across apps. Show me my photos from Yellowstone, the ones with animals. Send it to Justin. All right. Yeah. Now, another example is when a friend asks you a question, and you need to look up the information to respond. 
Justin wanted to know when Maggie's flight arrives. When's my flight? Reply, I should get in around 1 p.m. Now you can even imagine this next generation assistant handling more complex speech scenarios, like composing and sending an email. Hey Google, send an email to Jessica. Hi Jessica. I just got back from Yellowstone and completely fell in love with it. Set subject to Yellowstone Adventures. Let me know if next weekend works for dinner so I can tell you all about it. Now I'd like to show you the future of how we're improving your mobile driving experience even more, introducing the assistant's new driving mode. Just put your phone in the car and say, hey Google, let's drive. Driving mode has a thoughtfully designed dashboard that brings your most relevant activities front and center while you're driving, and includes suggestions personalized for you. For example, if you have a dinner reservation on your calendar, you'll see a convenient shortcut to navigate to the restaurant. Or if you started a podcast at home in the morning, once you get in your car, it'll display a shortcut to resume the episode right where you left off. Now, it also highlights top contacts, making it easy to call them or message them, and recommendations for other things to listen to. Now, once you're navigating, phone calls and music appear in a low-profile way, so you can get things done without leaving your navigation screen. Hey, Google, play some jazz. Sure, check out this jazz music station on YouTube Music. Now, everything is voice-enabled, so if a call comes in, the assistant will tell you who's calling and ask if you want to answer without having to take your eyes off the road. Call from mom. Do you want to pick it up? No, thanks. <laughs> Today, you can already find all your privacy and security settings in one place in your Google account. If you tap on your profile photo, in addition to finding easy access to your privacy controls, you'll find a new feature, incognito mode. Incognito mode has, a pop, has been a popular feature in Chrome since it launched, and we are bringing this to Maps. While in incognito in Maps, your activity, like the places you search and navigate to, won't be linked to your account. We want to make it easy to enter in and out of incognito, and Maps will soon join Chrome and YouTube with support for incognito, and we'll be bringing it to search as well this year. We are announcing a new feature called Live Caption. Live caption makes all content, no matter its origin, more accessible to everyone. The incredible thing is that it works completely on device, so there's no delay. With one click, you can turn on captions for a web video, podcast, or even on a moment you capture at home. You like the blueberries? The blueberries? Delicious? Here comes more. Um. So there you are. It's only possible due to our recent breakthroughs in speech recognition technology. Now, the same on-device machine learning powers another useful cue feature, which is Smart Reply. With Smart Reply, the OS helpfully suggests what you'll type next. It'll predict the text you'll type, even emoji. And it's a huge time saver. What's really cool is this works now for all messaging apps in Android. Like in Signal, you can see the OS providing these helpful suggestions. And Smart Reply can now even predict the actions that you'll take. So say a friend sends you an address. And normally, you'd copy and paste that into Maps. That's kind of a hassle. With Smart Reply, you just tap, and it will open for you. And all this is saving you time. On-device machine learning powers everything from these incredible breakthroughs like Live Caption to helpful everyday features like Smart Reply. And it does this with no user input ever leaving the phone, all of which protects user privacy. Now, there's one more addition to Android Q that's small, but you've been asking us about for a while. And that is Dark Theme. And we're launching it in Q. <laughs> so you can activate it by using the quick tile or by turning on Battery Saver. And in fact, it will help you save battery. Your OLED display is one of the most power-hungry components in your phone. So by lighting up less pixels, we'll save you battery. 
And Android has the most widely deployed security and anti-malware service of any OS with Google Play Protect. It runs on every device, and it scans over 50 billion apps a day. At the same time, we wanted to go much further. And that's why Android Q includes almost 50 features focused on security and privacy, all providing more protection, transparency, and control. So first, in Q, we've brought privacy to the top level in settings. And there, you'll find a number of important controls all in one place. Activity data, location history, ad settings, and you decide what's on or off. So first, if you're wondering which apps can be accessing your location, we make it easy for you to know. With Q, your device will give you helpful reminders whenever an app accesses location when you're not actively using that app. So you can review and decide, do you want to continue sharing or not? Second. Q will give you more control over how you share location data with apps. For example, say you want to get pizza delivered. You can choose to share your location only while the app is in use. And as soon as you close, you'll stop sharing location. Finally, what if you're wondering, what kind of location do all my apps have? In Q, we've brought location controls to the forefront in settings. So you can quickly review every app and change location access with simple controls. Now, your Android device gets regular up security updates already, but you still have to wait for the release, and you have to reboot when they come. We want you to get these faster, even faster. And that's why in Q, we're making a set of OS modules updatable directly over the air. So now these can be updated individually as soon as they are available and without a reboot of the device. Introducing Nest Hub Max. It's a new product that has a camera and a larger 10-inch display, which is perfect for the center of your helpful home. Hub Max pulls together your connected devices together into a home view dashboard where you can see your Nest cams, you can switch on lights, control your music, and adjust your thermostat. Hub Max also supports Thread. So just like Nest Connect, it communicates directly with Thread-supported devices that need a low power connection like door locks or motion sensors. And we've designed Hub Max with an incredibly helpful camera. If you want to know what's going on in your home, you can choose to use it like a Nest Cam. You can turn it on when you're away from home. You can check on things right from the Nest app in your phone. And just like a Nest Cam, it's easy to see your event history, enable Home and Away Assist, and you also get a notification if the camera detects any motion or sees someone it doesn't recognize in your home. Now, video calling is easy, too, with Google Duo. The camera has a wide-angle lens, and it automatically adjusts to keep you centered in the frame. You can chat with any iOS or Android device or a PC with a Chrome browser. You can also, u also use Duo to leave video messages for members of your household. Hub Max is designed to give you full control over the camera. Nothing is streamed or recorded unless you intentionally enable it. And you'll always know when the camera is on with a green indicator light. You have multiple controls to disable camera features, and a physical switch on the back electrically disconnects the camera and the microphones. And you can see all these controls clearly on the display. Pixel 3a comes in three colors, just black, clearly white, and a new color, purple-ish. But what Pixel is really known for is its incredible camera. And with software optimizations, we found a way to bring our exclusive camera features and our industry-leading image quality into Pixel 3a. So photos look stunning in any light. So here's what that means. Pixel 3a can take amazing photos in low light with night sight. We've also enabled Pixel's portrait mode on both the front and rear cameras. And our Super Res Zoom applies computational photography, so you can get closer to your subject while still maintaining a high degree of resolution. And all of your beautiful photos are backed up for free in high quality with Google Photos. Pixel 3a also has the helpful features you'd expect in a Pixel. 
Just squeeze the sides of your phone to bring up the Google Assistant. We're using the AI in Pixel 3a to help manage your phone calls, too. Now, you might remember last year, we shared our vision for using AR in Google Maps. Starting today on Pixel phones, when you use walking directions, instead of staring at that blue dot on your phone, you're going to see arrows in the real world to tell you where to turn next. We're just beginning our journey with AR and Maps, and we're really excited for Pixel users to experience this early preview. Pixel 3a has adaptive battery, uses machine learning to optimize based on how you use your phone. So you can get up to 30 hours on a single charge. And with the included 18-watt charger, you'll get up to seven hours of battery life with just 15 minutes of charging. Pixel 3a offers the complete Pixel experience, and we're proud to make it available and affordable to more people around the world. And for the first time, we're expanding our US carrier partnerships. So the entire Pixel family is now available for sale at T-Mobile, Sprint, and US Cellular.